my name is Frank. I'm uh, the majority shareholder here at The Chance. What's up, man? How's it going, Frank? What's going on, man? Uh, how you doing? Not doing too bad. How are you? Good. Good. Got some messages? All right. Cool. I'll get to that after. We right. just throw it back. I'm going to train first. No problem. You know. Talk to you in a bit. My uh, job entails any anything from uh, booking the bands to the marketing, general managing. I've had an opportunity to book some of the biggest bands in the country and deal with uh, artists and managers as well. Hey, Frank. Hey, what's up, Pat? What's going on? How are you? I'm Pat, and I'm Frank's right-hand man. Good. a <sighs> boy. Good. I have his back. I take care of affairs. When there's problems, I can help mediate, and I can often sway people to see things our way. Good. Uh, right. What's up, right? How are you? Right. Good. How's that? Good. Are we all set for tonight? Yeah, no, I think we're good to go. Uh, right. There's um, 12 guys on. Good. It's real cold out, so we gotta open the doors right. a little early. Good. So just make sure um, right. guys are there, probably 8.30. I'll make hour. the phone calls. Okay. You know we have a problem, though, with, with Big Rick. You heard? I did. With that altercation, he's still locked up. Yeah. We'll, so, I don't know. We'll, we'll, I, we'll I have to that. deal with that. You know, he smacked the guy, the guy smacked the girl. It was a whole mess. And they're not letting him loose. So, this, this. I'll take care of it. I'll deal with his end. If we need to do anything this. to get him out, I'll work on it for you. Don't worry yeah, about I, it. I know. Frank also gave me a second shot. You know, I competed professionally, fighting, strength competitions. I competed all over the country and the world. Never made much money from it. And uh, Frank, why I'm also loyal is gave me a chance and he gave me a second shot to make some money and he took me in so, you know, I'm loyal to him to the end. I'll make sure the guy's at the door, everybody's watching everybody. If anything looks fishy, they'll let me know and the first thing I'll do is I'll get right to you. As soon as we know what's going on, if anything looks funny, it'll be taken care of. You know, he's looking to expand and Frank's going to also take the businesses and things he owns now and move on to bigger and better things and more businesses, more empire. I made, I made a few calls for you, I spoke to the guys about some different things between gym, restaurant, club, everything's pretty good. Everybody's been behaving, okay. which I like. All right, good. They know they have to. Sounds good. All right. Sounds... Oh, by the way, Pat, um, I talked to my broker last yeah. night. He's got a piece of property that's going into foreclosure right on a main drag. Good. Seems like a real good deal. So I need you to drive me there, you know, before we head up to nice, the Nice, no problem. All right. Hey, just let me know, call me. Okay. All right, I'll, I'll let you know what time. time. Yeah. Hey, those are mine. You almost done? Yeah, it's my last set. All right. Bad. Good. Ugh. Let's get out of here. Yeah. Start. So is that pain in here? Is DJ gonna be there tonight? Yeah, he's spinning tonight. Oh. Just, again, keep an eye on the back of the stage. Him and his manager are always trying to sneak people. I'll uh, take care of it, don't worry. Not only that, he's always wanting a tab and everything else. He's not getting by me, I'll deal with him. Uh, I can't stand them anyway. You give me an excuse. Yeah. Frank. Yeah, no, what's going on? Hey, I'm in the office right now, and you know, I'm watching these videos, and this girl Denise has got to go. No, we already talked about this. No, she's not bartending. He's gonna bartend, uh, and then she's gonna work uh, the door. She's completely skimming off the bar. And she's taking the money out of the draw, she's overcharging people, and it's going right in her tip draw. All she's doing is robbing from us. All right, we'll speak later. I'm Carolyn, I'm Frank's sister, gopher, marketer. This is a family-run business, and I'm here to watch his back and make sure everything goes all right. We don't always get along, but I see right through the crap. I'm here to watch his back, and if they're stealing, they're doing anything wrong, I'm here to get rid of them without a moment's notice. What's going on? Frank, what are we gonna do about this girl? Do what you want with her. I got too much to worry about. She's so. gotta go. Right, She's gotta go. On. She's skimming. You take She's care robbing. of it. Take care of it. All right, I will. I've had an opportunity to book some of the biggest bands in the country and deal with uh, artists and managers as well. Well, basically the uh, booking process is um, either an agent reaches out to me or I reach out to them. We have uh, pretty much an open line of communication with all the major booking agents in the business. Mike Love, stay here. What's up, Mike? It's Frank from The Chance. What's going on? I, I don't know, Frank. You tell me. I mean, I get this message here that uh, you're not willing to pay uh, what we agreed upon. Not good business, my friend. Well. When I uh, pay for something and you want uh, to sneak another singer in, 
I'm, you know, we're, we're talking about apples and oranges here, Mike. So, it, you know, it's not worth what we originally talked about because it's not the same band. You're not selling the same product. They'll let me know that the tour or whatever tour is uh, going to be traveling towards the Northeast. We'll hold dates on a calendar, a time frame, and then they'll lock it in. At that time, uh, we'll send an offer. Uh, we'll go over the parameters of, uh, of what the band's looking for as far as how much money. Um, they might want to keep a ticket price under 25 bucks, for example, um, which will dictate what I can offer and uh, what the potential gross is. This guy is the band. He's, he's, the, he's got a very distinct voice. He's, uh, you know, he, he is the band. He's 50% of the band. So it's not going to sell the same tickets as, uh, you know, if it was the original lineup. Once they accept the offer, uh, we put it on sale, we build it in a system, market it, and hopefully it's a sellout. Well, it, the way I look at it, it's a breach of contract because I'm looking at a contract that has the three main guys in the band. You know, the singer being, again, you know, the, the, the main draw of the band, okay? If, you know, we could call it uh, Three Blind Mice, but if it's uh, not the original Three Blind Mice, then who is it? Yeah, I, 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 yeah, I can't, I can't agree to that. I think I, we're going to get our Beverly Hills attorney involved. Well, you know, do, do what, you, do what you, get, do what you got to do. But I spent a lot of money in advertising, and we need to come to an agreement. It's in both of our best interests, including your artist, to make this happen and and work it out, uh, you know, amicably. I don't care who you are. You could be the president of the United States, but if you're going to cause me problems, then you know what, you could hit the road. I'm Barbara. I am the promoter rep here at the Chance Theater. Uh, basically, I do everything that no one else is willing to do, and I do it with a smile on my face, and I'll always ask for more. I'm the one who gets things done around here. All right, so what's the deal? What do we have coming up? We got shows Thursday, Friday, Saturday this week. Yeah. All right. Um, yeah. The Saturday show is not really on track as far as sales How go. How many locals do we have on that one? Right now we got two. I'm trying to talk to the agent. About getting a third? About getting a third. How many local. tickets do we have sold with those Right now there's like locals. 157, but we, our break even is that though, is that, like, is that like the number that, the, wait, 157, that's odd? 157 that's, without, without, the locals, without the locals. Without the locals. All right, do we know what the status is of their tickets yet? Um, well, that's that's what I need you to do. I need you to call the locals and see what they have sold so far. Call them okay. and, and tell no them, problem. you know, listen, the show is this Saturday. Mm -hmm. We need to know an actual number of what they have sold, not what they think they're going to have sold, not what they're anticipating. Yeah, don't, don't let them BS you. None of that bullshit. I don't want to hear that. I want to have an exact number because I need to know exactly what we're going to anticipate for Saturday night. Being a woman in this business is definitely difficult because everybody thinks that, you know, you're a good looking girl, that you're automatically down on your knees to get things done, or, you know, you're fooling around with this one, fooling around with that one. But meanwhile, I'm just not the type of woman you're going to f with. You know what I mean? I'm going to, I'm going to look at you and you're not, going to want to, you're not going to want to hear my mouth. You're going to see it in my eyes that I want something done. I want it done when I want it done and how I want it done. There's no exceptions to it. And if anybody has a problem with me, I'll just get Big Pat to take care of it for me. And another interesting side is, uh, you know, they say that it's haunted. I've never experienced anything, but there's some history where uh, a woman that used to live here, um, she, she was killed and that her spirit comes back and, and haunts the place. Um, I've had some employees kind of uh, give me some feedback on this, but um, also Carolyn, my sister, she likes to uh, talk about the, the ghost quite a bit. Is this place haunted? You better believe it. There are parts of this building you walk through, it gets so cold, it like runs through your whole body. One night I was in here by myself, I was walking by the bar, I heard this swaying, this rope. I look up, and you see something hanging from the chandelier, it was like insane. I ran out of here so quick, it was like the scariest thing. Frank, we just saw the freaking ghost. I'll get with the ghost. She's, she's telling the truth. We just it's went to go get a couple beers and we saw her. Are you kidding me? No. We're not. We're not. Uh, I, I, I don't even get to talk to this ghost story stuff, all right? Yep, yep, big guys. All right. Call the paranormal team. We'll talk to you later, all right? It's just get the camera here. They gotta go check it out. Holy crap! Check by the go. chimney. Just there. Let's go. Stay close. Make sure you go down there. I saw it. You saw it. Get the thing. Get the thing. Is it on? Is it on? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Put the light on. Put the light on. Put the light on. Is it on? Yeah, it's on. It's on. Okay. Oh, 
Yeah, go to the right, go to the right. He said it's in the second room down the basement. Second room. Dude, wait, shh, shh, shh. Is, is that you moving? No. You hear that? It's over there. Shine the camera. What the f was that? What the f was that? Watch it. Go, 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 go. When it comes to this place, do not send me to the basement. Send me to hell. Do not send me to the basement. My brother doesn't really look deeply into things. It's like a cancer that spreads. You have a bad staff member, they have to go. And I'm going to be the one to do it. Pat, where the hell is Barbara right now? You know she's late again. Relax, all right? She's been late. She's got a lot going on. I'll talk to her. I don't give don't a f about what's going on. This is the fifth day we're freaking open, and she's not here. Where is Frankie? Listen, leave him the hell alone, will you please? I'll take care of this. He's got enough going on. Don't drive him nuts. He's got enough going right? on. He's never here when we have people what? lined up outside the, door. outside the door. He's never around when I need him. Hey, Carolyn, I could take over the ticket booth. No, no, Miguel, you can't. You, no, you're a knucklehead. You can't. You're a barback. I need somebody that actually knows what they're doing in there. You know, I catch a lot of grief for supporting Barbara, but uh, I like her. You know, she's had her problems, but uh, I've tried to look out for her in many ways. and. Frank and especially Carolyn aren't always very appreciative of uh, me supporting her. Hey, hey, hey ho, ho. listen, Carolyn is driving me nuts again. She's pissed off and starting about you again. And uh, I'm no, protecting what? you. What? You're late. You're this. You're that. You know she's always giving me crap. Dude, about I'm ten you. minutes late. I and know. It's not a big I deal. know. I've been and here, all they like... tell me is I protect you. I'm too nice to you. Why? Who oh, gives a f what they think? I can care less. Honestly, she's always I got know, something. Barbara, listen, I listen know. to me. Listen to me. Listen to me. She's always got something to say. She f comes in every, you know, Friday nights, and she's here sometimes for Monday morning. I don't give a f I She I can know. do whatever she wants. She can say whatever she wants. I mean, who gives a f if I'm a few minutes late? I'm so sick and tired of Carolyn constantly complaining that I'm a minute late here, a minute late there, just because it doesn't work to her f schedule. I mean, everybody knows I run this place, and I like, you know, and I'm taking care of everything all the time for Frank. All she does is sit here, bitch and complain, comes in on a Friday night at 6 o'clock and leaves by 11. I mean, I know you've got kids and a life and a home outside of here, but seriously, don't talk sh when you can't step up to the plate the way that I do. Hey, what's up? So I'm having a problem with the bands. There's supposed to be a comp ticket in the rider, and the bar's charging them. Like, I'm not really sure what to do today. It's been so unorganized. One of the worst parts of the business is, uh, is the artist demands, you know, so obviously you're dealing with the booking agent and. You know, right from the get-go, when you're working on the on the contracts uh, and the artist demands, it, it gets uh, it, it gets a little hairy. You know what? We're gonna have to talk to somebody because this is getting ridiculous. I know. This has been a problem all night, and you know what? I'm just frankly getting sick of it. Yeah. You're gonna have to go talk to somebody or find a promoter because I'm about to just wrap it up because honestly, I've had enough. And then once you advance the show, you know, sometimes they change their mind. They don't want this. They want this. They want a certain you know, soundboard, or they want riders that entail uh, the most off-the-wall things such as baby powder and condoms, you, you, you never know. Hi. So, the agent's getting pissed off at me. There's a bunch of stuff going on with the rider, no comp drinks, the vodka's cheap. No, the no, that's not at all what's going on. Actually, you guys had a budget for catering. We've already exceeded the catering budget. What I gave the band, while it's rail vodka, I've already gone above and beyond what the allotted budget was. So they're going to take that, and that's, that's all I have to give. All right, we've already, you know, like I said, again, we've exceeded the budget. We've done this as a courtesy because we work with the agency and the band for many, many years. All right, that is the bottom line. Well, you know, it could help start to find. It's, uh, you get one guy that's too aggressive, not aggressive enough. Hey, Pat. Yeah, you gotta come up here a second. Bring Junior with you. What we were talking about, what I suspected. I got it on camera. Come on in. 
Sit down. What's going on? What's going on at the door there? I've been taking money. I saw that. Been rough at home, you know, trying to catch up on bills and stuff like that. I know, but we go back a long way. You're right you about You could come that. to me, come talk to me. I should have talked to that. Pat. You know, for the extra couple bucks, man, is it worth the friendship and the loyalty? No. At the end? No, it's not. So I just came up and asked you. You gotta go. All right. You know that, right? You think you give me another chance? I want to come to stealing, bro. All right. I guess I'm out of here. All right. It hurts me, man, you know? It's, it took him in. I liked the kid, and we gave him a shot, and it hurts me. I vouched for the kid, too, and I'm sorry. I apologize. I know. Well, it's not your fault, man, you, you know? Every week, it's something new. Somebody in a walking cooler with a girl, and so on and so forth. So it's, uh, it's pretty interesting. Jesus Christ. Hey, Pat, I need you upstairs. One of you guys is getting busy with one of the barmaids. Get your guys under control, will you? For the most part, people, we have a pretty good crew here, but um, hormones are uh, running high, and it's uh, <laughs> it's an interesting place. Yeah, one time, uh, I'm not sure who it was, but it was some celebrity came up, giving my bouncer a hard time at the door, wanted special accommodations, she wanted her own VIP section, and you know what? You know, we, we deal with crap like that all the time, and uh, you know, I, I, we just wanted to just run a smooth night, and then she was just throwing uh, a wrench in the works. What's up, girls? How are you? Good. What's up? Uh, we're representing the staff of the Jersey Shore tonight. Okay. We are a group of six. We called earlier to uh, have a room for a VIP. Okay. You guys know who you talked to? Or? No, we don't know. But we know we called, and we you know, reserved a room okay. and everything. Let's go ask Pat. Maybe okay. he got a little more information for us. What's up? Pat, what's up, Pop? How you doing? Um, these young ladies supposedly called earlier. Um, they represent somebody from uh, Jersey Shore about getting a VIP room and some bottles. I'm not really sure. You know, I know nothing about it. Well, we did call. Someone from the agency called. And we were promised VIP passes, a room, you What's know, boost bottles. They said they're with people from the Jersey Shore. They called earlier. I got no message. I don't know anything. They said they spoke to somebody and were promised VIP. We were promised you. VIP passes, a room, two bottles of goose. Like, we have them in the car right yeah. now. I don't know about... To be honest with you, I don't know about any of this, but uh, you know, he'll walk you in, Pat Warren will take care of you, push you up, uh, you know, upstairs and get you a table. But as far as the bar goes, you know, you guys are on your own. All right? All right. All right. So, all right. All right. All right, you guys. We don't bow down anyone. There's a lot of celebrities, well-known people come to me. Pat, let us in, you know, management people. Can you help us out? Everybody's the same here. I don't care who you are. If Frank says you're not to get in, you don't get in. And that's the bottom line. Listen, uh, I don't like to put my hands on people, but when I have to, I will. Um, God help them if people mess with us, our business, our money, our interests. So this guy's unbelievable. He comes into the office, he's requesting to count ticket stubs, which is really not a common request when you have audits that you could pull. What? Why am I here? They want to do a drop count, and I need you here because they want another audit pulled. So, dude, I told you from Jump Street this morning that this guy was a f pain in the ass. I like, know. it I is know. almost four o'clock in the morning. I've been here all day. Like, why? Why ask why? Dude, why like, ask why? You know? What the f does he let's want? Just, Seriously. Let's just he wants to do a drop count. Hopefully, we can convince him that you know, pull another what audit. What does he want okay. me to do? Count. F Ticket stubs? Like, what the It wouldn't be the first time. So, let's see. 
Maybe he'll just take the audit and go and Dude, be done with it. Dude, but this is like out of line, man. All day long, this guy, if it's not one thing, it's the other with him. Like, I know. You know, again, but what are you, just, what are you bitching at me for? I'm not bitching at you. I'm just saying, like, come on, man. It's been All a 17-hour right, right, day already, dude. Listen, Frank, we're going to need to do another ticket count. Look, man, we got to do this. What is, what is it exactly cool. you guys are looking... What, what number are you looking to see? I don't get it, because... I think the numbers are way off. Look, guys, you know, I know it's late. You know, we all put a lot of time in this, invested a lot of energy. I'm just looking for a recount. There's, there, there's no way, you know, we've been doing, I've been doing this personally a long time. You know, I've always trusted you guys. And, and we've never had know, a problem so before. What so I mean, I, look, yeah, I, don't I understand. understand. I, I just, I have a little bit of a hunch that, you know, there's more tickets sold than what you're portraying. A significant amount of money here that, you know, you know could be in my pocket. Let's let's just do it, let's go. <laughs> so, you know, let's just go. looking for a recount. There's no point. All right, there's no point to keep talking about. Let's just get it's it done. Recount. I know it's late, it's a pain in the ass, you know. So, I mean, what makes you guys think that there's more than that in the room than the audit shows? I mean, there's a lot of people out there. Well, I mean, there's a, 700 people, there's a lot of people. I mean, you also have to take into account that for this crowd, <clears throat> The type, like the crowd, the, the, the audience is, is good. they're larger people, they're not kids, you know what I mean? So you have to take into account that these are grown men is fitting into a room, and especially the fact that with the balcony, it's a three-tier, you know, standing room balcony. But I've done a lot of shows, mm -hmm. so and, I, and, and, and I can see how much room we have out there, you guys have, mm -hmm. and there's, wow. there's got to be more tickets sold. Wow. You go by the audit, or you count the tickets, you know? So it's up to you. What's your take on this? Yeah, I think, on. Come on, we go. You're an agent. Tickets. He's a tour manager. Why don't you take you some initiative to do it? Clearly I'm not going to say your account. It's four o'clock in the morning. Name me one other time that you had you felt the need to sit here and do a ticket by ticket count and audit because he wasn't right. honest with you. I'm, I'm done with this. You're this gonna... is All right. I mean, some of these agents, they're just they they swear to God they think that they're that the talent that they represent it's like God's gift to us. It's like we're doing them a favor. We're not, you know what I mean? They're not doing us a favor by coming here. We're literally counting ticket stubs. Once we got it done, and when I proved them wrong and put them in his place, he said it didn't matter anyway. So, uh, you know, that, that's one tough thing about the business that you don't really get accustomed to, and um, it's it's hard not to take it personal. I'm worried about you though lately. You know, it's, I know there's a lot going on. You know, you know, Pat. It's like I, I kind of thought some things were going to work out a little differently. You know, we had this one promoter that was was doing some shows, and I thought it would take a little bit and alleviate a little bit of my headaches. Right. It's not really working out. You know. I know. And it's like it's just more pressure on me, which I know. You know I'm, I'm used no, to it, but you know, 18 years later, I know, I it's, it's starting to get get no. to me. You know. But listen, you know, don't worry about the other stuff. All the outside stuff you got involved, the other interests, I'll handle. You take care of this. I don't want you worrying about that stuff. That's what you got me for. I will take care of that stuff. All of that other business stuff we got room and is going to pay off. It's going to take some time. Right. You got to hang with us and me and you with this. Cause wow. It's going to it's going to work. But just I, I don't want to see you getting stressed. If there's anything I can do, please tell me. I appreciate. That. You know we're going to work this. You know the club. It's, it's a pain in the ass. Yes. I know that. It, it's it a is. Lot. It is. And that's why you know, like, you know I actually like the balance of the gym, you know, mm -hmm. train, do a little business there, you know. So with, without the balance, I, I think know. I'd lose my mind. I really oh, do. I hear you, I hear you. I, hear you. Uh, it, you know, most, I, I said I'd be here 10 years, this is 18. I know. It's, it definitely takes a toll, but you know what? I'm not dead yet. But, <laughs> you know? And you know, I hear you, and you know, growing comes with pain. Yeah. So we're gonna have some growing pains. Yeah. If we're gonna look to, to move on and move beyond this, right. beyond the gym, beyond the other yeah. things you got going, it's not going to be easy, but Absolutely. like I said, we're Absolutely. here, you know? All right? I don't appreciate worry. that, bro. All right. Well, we're going to be fine. So listen, have a good night. All right, All you take it easy. It, I'm tired. i got to get home. I'm going right. to get up in the morning anyway. Before I forget, tomorrow, I need you to head down on Main Street to that property. All right. And meet with the GC. I'm having a little problem with this guy. And uh. I might have to talk to him. All right. You're supposed to, you know, port of footings and stuff, but don't listen. I, I don't, I don't oh. know if I trust this guy. He's don't a little, worry. Little, little shady, if there's any right? problem, he'll be in the footings. Don't worry. <laughs> All right. I got it taken care of. All right, I've, I've dealt with him before. So don't worry. You got it. Sleep well, All my right. friend. All right, buddy. All right, be good. Have a good night.